What's up everybody? Ro back again with the Ruckus vlog. Let's take a look at the Ruckus here. Check that out. Let me flip my mic so y'all can hear me. There you go. All right. So if you remember probably in the last video, it was pretty much stock and now it's not. So probably today what I'm gonna do is disassemble the battery box, take off most of the electronics up front take off all the controls, come be replacing all this up here, take the mirrors off. Well, that's all going because it's all mounted one piece. These are factory mirrors. So I'll go ahead and disassemble this stuff. The bars are staying, but what I want to do is expose the frame. And then what I'm going to do is pull out most of these cables because I will be changing the throttle cable and the brake cable. Uh, I got new ones for the new levers. So we're going to go ahead and start on that because I want to go ahead and start prepping the, the frame so I could go ahead and do the painting on it which will be the wrinkle black and then once I receive my front hub I'll go ahead and pop the front end on with the wheels the disc brakes and all that and then once the rest of the stuff comes then I'll go ahead and start working on the motor as far as installing the gear up the short axle wire harness carburetor and so on so I have this strip so now I'm gonna work up here so let's get to that let's see how much I can get done today I'm only gonna work on this for like an hour or two hours or so so not too long today but let's see let's get it done all right should we show them Johnny let me flip the camera flip the mic ready count to three one two three boom What's up everybody? I'm back. Same day, same couple of hours. I just changed my shirt, okay? It's hot out here. You see the sun? Yeah. Let me turn my mic around. Let me prepare you guys. Let me show you something. This is how far I got. Boom! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, that's what it looks like, huh Janet? It looks like... What happened at daddy's bike? <laughs> Where'd it go? It looks like a toilet with a wheel. <laughs> it, <went there. laughs> it is. It's all over there and over there. Yeah, this is how far I am. I'm already gonna start prepping the frame. Ugh, prepping the frame. So, get your feet out of my face. I'm gonna start prepping the frame. And just want to update you before I end up turning on the camera and then this ends up all being black and you're like, hey, these frames ain't black underneath. I thought you were going to paint it. Well, yeah. So I'm going to start prepping everything, cleaning it all, scrubbing it all down. And then I'm going to hit it with the can. Just give it a nice little undercoat. And then probably tomorrow because it'll probably be cooler. I'll start hitting it with the thicker coats and then start hitting it with the heat gun to give it that wrinkle finish. So like I said, took everything off. No wires whatsoever, <coughs> left the bars. I know, Twinkie, I know. Money, money, money. So I'm gonna get that started. It's all stripped now. I mean, nothing else I can take off besides this little thing. But yeah, let's get to it. All right, same day, thought I would wait, but no, I had time to get it done. So this is the first coat, everybody. I messed up all the VIN number and information sticker on the frame so I could paint it. So yeah, this is the first coat. And it's drying up pretty good. It's that wrinkle finish. So let me put this down so I can show you. It's gonna be getting dark soon. So it is looking really good actually. Look at that. Oh, there we go. You see? Oh, that's that 
wrinkle finish. So the VIN number sticker there, masked it up, then cleaned it up with the razor blade. So I already got most of the bottom and the inside here. I just turned the wheel, sprayed it. I went up at an angle to get all inside the little crevices and they got all on the bottom of here. The only thing is I'm gonna have to get under here and on this very bottom section of this, but I'll do that once I start the front end and I flip it up and I'll take care of that. I still have to cover, uh, paint the frame cover, the side steps and also the splitter. But if you're curious, that's what I use, the VHT Wrinkle Plus. And this is how far I've gone so far. Completely stripped. So let me get back to it, hitting it with the heat gun. And then I got two more coats that I will be doing, but those will be tomorrow. So I'm just doing, I did one light coat. Actually, it'll be four coats, lie. Light coat up first after I cleaned everything. And then I went back and I did a thicker first coat. And then I'm hitting it with the heat gun. And I'm gonna do two more steps and then hit it with the heat gun again. So that's where I'm at. Looks good. Let me get it done. Boom, what's up everybody? I'm gonna show you guys something really quick. Are you ready? You ready? One, two, three, boom. Look at that. That's only a first coat. I'm using the VHT Wrinkle Plus paint. I don't know if it's Wrinkle Plus. I think it's a Wrinkle Paint um, by VHT, high temperature. But I still gotta hit it about two, three more times. It says three coats, I think, on the can, but I'm gonna do four. I did a light coat, and then I basically did the first coat, which you see now. And I'm gonna do maybe two more other coats, and then I should be good. Tomorrow's gonna be a lot warmer, so I'm gonna do it around noontime. And then hit it with the heat gun for a while, because that's pretty much all I have to do. I did get the bottom of the frame. Uh, this little part where the wood's at, when I do the front end and I flip the frame over, I'll go ahead and spray that. And then I'll go ahead and do the whole front end kit with the disc brake and all that good stuff. But I mean, there's really nothing else I can do as far as where I'm at right now. I do have to paint the engine, side steps, the splitter, and then a custom um, cover that I want to make for the front part of the tank but I still gotta get some aluminum for that or maybe some sheet metal some stainless steel just uh, clean up the bottom portion of the front frame and then I gotta start mapping the holes out for the wire tuck and that's pretty much it and then I could start reassembling everything so I just want to show you guys on this video up with what it looks like for the day and it is dry see that so it looks good all right everybody hope you're enjoying this little vlog series with the ruckus but I will have a lot more going on for this bike so if you like what you see subscribe stay tuned there'll be a lot more thank you for tuning in and like always i'll see you on the next one peace Nailed it. it's crazy huh <laughs> watch out mama filming i'm filming <laughs>